Okay, question 24 on histograms, have a go. Okay, right, now this is quite a difficult histogram uh, question, so um, it really all boils down to the principle that the, uh, the frequencies, the number of calls, is the area of the uh, rectangle. So think about how you work out an area of a rectangle, it's width times height. So, we know the area, that's the number of calls, okay, that's the frequency. Now the width is the time, so first of all just work out how long each of these widths are. So obviously 0 to 10 is 10, 10 to 15 is 5 and so on. So there are the widths. So we've got the areas, we've got the widths. How do you work out the height? Well, we know an area of a rectangle is width times height. So working backwards, height is area divided by width. So if you do area divided by width, so 12 divided by 10, you get 1.2. 15 divided by 5, you get 3, and so on. So basically, these are the heights that we're going to have to plot. These are our frequency densities. This is the heights of the rectangle. So pick a sensible scale. We can see our biggest value is going to be 3. So I've done my scale like this. So we've got the big squares, 1, 2, 3, and then halving in. So basically establish your scale over here, and that's really the hard work done. Okay, we then basically just just draw our square our rectangle. So the first one is 10 along, 1.2 up, 10 along, 1.2 up. The second one is from 10 to 15, and it's 3 up, and so on. So basically, we just draw these over here. Do use a, a ruler in the real thing. It was hard for me to do that. So um, that's how we do this question.